வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு பிரகிருதி லிவிங் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு மேக் அ வெரி டேஸ்டி கேரமல் பாயசம் ஆர் கீர் ஃபார் திஸ் ஐ ஹாவ் டேக்கன் அபவுட் அ லிட்டர் ஆஃப் கவுஸ் மில்க் இட் இஸ் அன்பாயில்ட் ஃபார் அ லிட்டர் ஆஃப் மில்க் அபவுட் த்ரீ ஃபோர்த் கப் ஆஃப் சுகர் ஷுட் பி அனஃப் இஃப் யூ நீட் மோர் யூ கேன் ஆட் இட் லேட்டர் ஆன் ஆல்சோ This is about 3 tablespoons of uh, short grained rice or siraga samba which has been soaking for about half an hour. For the garnishing we are going to use cashew, dry grapes and almonds which I have diced. This is saffron to give it an extra richness. So now let's get started. I am using a mud vessel for this. I am pouring in the milk and let it come to a boil. The milk has now boiled. I am going to add the soaked rice to this. You can use the normal rice too but this rice has a very good flavor. Keep the flame in low medium and allow the rice to cook completely. The rice should become soft and mushy. This may now take about 10 to 15 minutes. The rice has been now boiling for about 10 minutes. See how well the rice has cooked. You can check it like this. Now, at this stage I'm adding a few strands of saffron. This will give a good color and flavor. In another pan, I'm adding in about 2 teaspoons of ghee. I'm going to add the chopped cashew nuts, almonds. And when they brown a little bit, we are going to add in the dry grapes. When the grapes start to balloon up a little bit, remove and keep aside. In the same pan I am adding the 3/4 cup of sugar. Keep the flame in medium or else the sugar may get burnt and it will spoil the entire taste of the kheer. Keep stirring. The sugar has now started to melt. See the color has also started to change. Let it melt completely. Do not worry about the lumps, they will dissolve soon. It has now turned into a golden brown color. If we caramelize it further, it may then turn hard. So, at this stage we are going to add this to the kheer. Now to enhance the richness I'm adding in about 3 tablespoons of condensed milk. It will give a thick and creamy structure to the dish. I'm now adding the fried nuts to the kheer. Our rich creamy and delicious kheer is ready. You can serve it hot or chilled. It is an excellent festive dessert. If you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.